Welcome back to China Price Watch. In today's Money Matters, we're talking about fake baby formula. Baby formula in China has faced a number of controversies. The most recent one is that stores are using the tins of imported brands to sell domestic formula. They can sell the imports at much higher prices since domestic brands are not trusted by many Chinese people. Neutralon is a Dutch brand welcomed by a large amount of Chinese consumers. A Tmall store claims that it's the official flagship store of the Dutch brand. Two 800 kilogram cans of milk powder can be sold for 400 yuan, or around 65 US dollars. This is actually the normal market price for Neutralon in China. So far, over 20,000 products have been sold through this online store. However, several consumers recently complained about receiving fake products from the store. Mrs. Sun is one consumer complaining about four tins of milk powder she bought online. The store did not ask me any detailed information. They just answered me through text messages that they can exchange two unopened tins for new ones. There is a little powder outside the seal, and this tin smells like low-quality plastic. The staff members seem to be very used to giving consumers these weird products. The fake packages are easily obtained by Chinese sellers. As reported by the Southern Metropolis Daily, a manufacturer in Guangdong provides a service for producing fake foreign milk powder cans as long as clients provide the designs. The order number should be at least 500 tins. The price is only 10 yuan, around $1.60 for each tin. And if the number is larger than 1,000 cans, the price can be more economical. And for the powder inside the tins, domestic milk formula is still considered too risky. Many other counterfeit sellers use milk powder for adults inside these tins. This is a big problem because adult formula cannot be digested by babies properly. This can easily lead to gastrointestinal problems like diarrhea or obstruction with bleeding. Many brands are using a verification code to identify themselves as authentic products. With these codes, consumers can verify their milk powder products on official websites. But fake formula sellers can get around this obstacle by buying the used tins. Some baby stores are reportedly collecting second-hand tins from consumers. With a real verification code on these real cans, the prices are more expensive than the made-up ones. They range from 3 to $6. When being asked why they're collecting used cans, many stores say they need the old cans to display them on their shelves in physical stores. But this still has made consumers suspicious they're selling fake formula inside of authentic packaging. Many e-stores display their overseas shipping records and product testing certificates online. But according to some market insiders, all these documents can be counterfeited. And there are also sellers that only import a small amount of milk powder just to get the certificate. They then sell a large amount of fake products from Chinese manufacturers. Fake products have become an aspect of everyday life in China. People in China often look at foreign goods as a beacon of quality. But with imported labels being used to deceive consumers, the quality of all products can be considered questionable now. It is odd that industries that have become infamous for creating products that have killed Chinese citizens, babies in particular here, can continue to thrive. Fake products and copyright laws still exist in a gray zone legally. This is mostly because the central government would be stretched too thin to guarantee quality controls. Reforms would involve major changes to farming and bureaucracy. Don't go away, because up next for our question of the day, we'll hear Beijingers' thoughts on fake baby formula. Stay tuned.